Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another little speed build for our Monstera Zoo franchise mode speed run playthrough. I'm just throwing a bunch of words together at this point. My name is Leaf and as always, it is so great to have you guys here. So, I was looking through the market and I gotta say, oh my god, thank god they have like all the cash listings because conservation credits are awful. But no, I'm so happy to be building this exhibit in particular because we're building for the lovely little Queensland koalas and these guys are so cute even though you know the models aren't really the best. Uh, that's another thing to be said but later down the line. But anyways, here we are working on the elevated pathway and this is the only way you can actually view the koalas. Which, you know, it, 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 you normally wouldn't have something like this in a real zoo, but you know what? It, it's my zoo, it's my franchise mode. I do what I want, bitch. So, of course, we are adding these wonderful little mulch pieces over the aquatic uh, pathway. And the aquatic pathway, that was a little trick I found out from Mr. Andrew Wyatt. He is such a wonderful little builder. But he found a wonderful trick to use the elevated pathways uh, metal fences i think they are as a way to uh kind of hide that i don't know uh, what am i even saying anymore and use the elevated pathway as a way to get those fences and hiding the actual disgusting pattern with uh, literally anything else literally anything else in this case i opted for mulch just because i wanted to and you can see it's starting to rain over here so i'm just waiting for it to end and here I go, just doing the general layout of the exhibit. Nothing crazy, guys. Nothing too crazy. I just wanted to have a nice, simple exhibit with a nice little indoor area. Well, e technically indoor. Um, it's implied, of course. So I do this beautiful big building for the koala holding. I think it came out pretty well in the end. I think it like stands as a beautiful mecca for a little Australian section to happen, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, certainly down the line, I would like to add literally any single animal in here especially once i have not researched just yet because i do want to get that achievement i still yet to get the zoopedia achievement but still doing some housekeeping work as always just making sure everything is nice everything is fed first and foremost because our penguins did not have any of their own water and i should probably add one of those like water cleaners as well for them but nonetheless here i am actually doing some custom fencing yes so i actually do this climb proof fence a little bit inspired by both Mr. Tovez as well as Stoppable San. They both have both wonderful, like, very iconic fence structures. But I wanted to make my own with these, so I use some mesh, 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 wow, can't even talk, mesh pieces to kind of make that happen. And I just continue that all the way throughout the sides of that side of the exhibit, and a little bit on the other side as well, just to make it feel like a nice little clamshell, I guess you could say. And of course, taking out another loan because Leaf is awful with his money and just generally decorating the exhibit however I see fit. Now, this is something I really love about franchise mode. It really makes you like, you know, it makes you care about the animals a lot more. And of course, if you guys want to come up with names for the animals, definitely do drop them down below. Hopefully, um, hopefully you guys throw out some out there because I would love to name some of these guys after you or even use some of the names that you guys come up with. I feel like that'd be a fun idea. You Using the safari pack as well right over here making some beautiful beautiful um flagstone base base work i guess you could say over there i don't know i just really do love how well that came out and having a nice little koala sign right there it all comes out so nicely and of course i did want to mention this before this is sort of going to be like a little bit of teasing out the outback pack which includes the dead tree right in the middle of the exhibit and i love watching the koalas actually climb up that it's so cool to actually watch them interact with their environment and stuff like that i just wish you know he looks better or even getting more koala like animals i would love a matchy's tree kangaroo i would literally love that i would love sloths i would love anything arboreal i don't know i just feel like they have a lot more locomotion than anything else i love the roofing of this exhibit so much guys oh my god i want to talk about this for a little bit because i was playing around with this idea but it turned out so freaking good in the end and i hope you guys enjoy it because it looks so swell by, I don't know, just a very tiered exhibit, well, tiered building, and just making sure everything has some nice elevation, doing some asphalt pieces over there just because I wasn't going to do a custom roof right there. You guys really think I would care that much about that? Nah. But I do some kind of like, 
what would you describe these like? I would, I don't know, skylights? Yeah, skylights. I do some skylights over here. Uh, kind of based off of, I forget what this is based off of actually. I don't really know. Uh, maybe it's based off of something that I dreamt up. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll definitely go with that. Uh, but just making sure that the rest of the habitat is looking nice, trying to copy over some of our central themes from our penguin exhibit, be it like the faux rocks as well. And you know what? Just generally keeping everything looking nice and pretty, nice and beautiful, nice and bright too. I definitely want to keep things bright in this entire zoo, just to make sure everything looks nice and beautiful, nice and organic. Also, the congestion on this path is awful. Uh, we got to do something about that. Maybe we'll direct people away from there. But of course, we have to take out another loan. But we do start making money at the end of this episode, I think. So, you know, we're all doing pretty good. But with that being said, I think I'm going to end myself. Well, not end myself. I'm going to end the video shortly right here. Wow, uh, that could have taken a big old dark turn. But I'll actually see you guys in the live portion. Meet you there. Well, welcome back, everyone, and I hope you all enjoyed the little bit of a speed build right over there. It was really fun to kind of design this little habitat. So, of course, I wanted to do a koala habitat. I have not done, like, a koala habitat in so long. I don't think I've ever actually done one. So it was really fun just to sit down and try and, you know, flex those Korean muscles and try and do something a little bit different than I usually do. So, of course, with that being said, I'm, like, currently just trying to do a little bit of housekeeping right over here. And I forgot about education, so I'm actually just going to copy these education boards right over. And we can have a little bit of fun with these. So, of course, I have not done a koala habitat in very long. Uh, probably ever, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think I've really built for them in quite some time. But, of course, I really wanted to sit down with you guys and make one. So, of course, here we go. We have two male koalas in here. And, of course, if you guys have any animal suggestion names... Names for animal suggestions. I don't even know anymore. Uh, definitely do drop them below I always love to add those so of course have those for the penguins as well forgot to mention that in the last <laughs> Episode Wow, Not even cutting that out <laughs> But of course if you guys have any suggestions for animal names definitely do drop them below But of course here we go. We have the little bit of a koala habitat now. Let's actually get some power electricity generator i don't know transformer uh this is actually the perfect amount i have no clue what those are okay uh wind turbine does that do a little bit better of a distance yeah we'll actually sneak the wind turbine in here not really realistic but you know what we'll just pretend that that's a very windy interior and it kind of pokes out right there but you know what we can actually hide that with a little bit of planted foliage. Yes, we are taking the cheap way out. I really like that, yeah. We can have it be like a nice planted roof. Nice and natural, I really like that. But yeah, that looks so natural, right guys? So of course now everything is powered and we have all of our education over here for our little Queensland koalas. And you know what, I'm pretty happy with it. They seem to enjoy it a lot. I love when they kind of climb up this tree. I love seeing them go all the way up here because it's such a wonderful little view. And of course, that tree is from the Outback Pack as well, just as a way to, you know, show you guys what you're going to get. And of course, the koalas can climb up it. It's a very useful tree, especially if you're trying to go for like a bit more of a dead area. And of course, we have this little area for the guests to come through if we actually just get a door. You guys know how much I love my doors. Uh, we can tuck one in right here. Let's actually bring that up a little bit more. So that should be good right there. In fact, I think I may... Hmm. What's the best way that we can kind of sneak in? Ooh. I have an idea, guys. Just going to tuck that in right there. That is the perfect size for a little koala friends. Uh, and then we can get a art shape. And we can get like a nice square. Get that looking nice. Tuck that in right up here. And we can just make that black. Have that be implied for the koalas to kind of go in and out of. I feel like that's very cute right there. But yeah, that's pretty much our koala habitat. Nice and lush on the outside. I love these little um, 
barriers over there, these anti-climbing. Just, you know, just as, you know, a way to keep the koalas in. Because as you did notice, we did have some escape koalas through the speed build. These boys do not seem to play nice with us keepers, but you know what? It's totally fine because we're enjoying it nonetheless. And of course, our money isn't really doing too good right now. I think I'm actually going to add some facilities once I'm done placing down these rocks. Let's actually see what we have. So, of course, I am so excited about these. These are so fun. These are the little um, food trucks. Uh, yeah, they're just really, really cute. And I hope you guys enjoy these. They're going to be really fun once I actually get them, you know, fully fixed up. I think it may be kind of cute to even have them, like, over there. But for the time being, we're just going to have some vending machines. And if we just look at vending machine, we can get, like, a nice little chief beef. I don't like the chief beef. We're going to have ice cream. We can pretend it's Dippin' Dots or something like that. We can have one right there, and we can have a Gulpy right next to it. And hopefully that should all be good. Then we can link these up with our work zone. And I will try and do the work zone correctly this time around, because I usually get kind of lazy with them. But we'll actually keep it relatively easy. Also, these are the aquatic paths. I know I mentioned that in the speed build probably, but I want to cover them up with some mulch. Make it look nice and natural, and also get rid of the ugly aquatic pattern on the bottom right there. And of course we have our little education areas right there. The keeper can get in perfectly fine. I'm really, really liking this so far. Uh, really not sure what we're going to do right after this. As you can see, I kind of really do like this um, entryway over here. We'll actually copy this and plop this right here so it looks like our staff is actually doing stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, I got nothing really much else. Let's actually place down a few trash cans for our little guests. Uh, that's a null trash can, by the way. That's going to be very fun. Ooh, let's actually get these. Yeah, so these ones are from the Safari Pack by Nicholas the Lion Rider. And they're just very beautiful, very useful zoo items. No, I'm just very happy to actually get these in. We can plop a couple of them all around just throughout all the zoo. And so our guests should not be littering anywhere. We do not want them to do that whatsoever. And we also have a few more benches as well. I think I'm going to keep it classic with these, though. And if we actually turn that into the perfect color right there. And what's a nice bright color? Let's do, like, orange. To fit our nice little Australian area. Why is Australia always, like, orange? Do you guys know that? I don't know. Maybe it's, like, the sand from Australia that, like, really gets people to think of Australia as the orange country. But, you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine because it looks beautiful and bright nonetheless, and we can tuck some of these benches all over the place. Tuck a couple right there, why not one right there, and then a couple more right there. And so hopefully all of our guests will be nice and happy, they'll be able to sit down. And I think with that being said, we kind of have everything we need for our over here, so that's kind of perfect. So honestly, let's actually get a couple of recycling bins as well. Nothing crazy, just at one or two every so often. Just kind of, you know, getting our guests to recycle and whatnot. We can even tuck one right over there. But yeah, I'd say that's pretty good for now. We can actually have like one or two of these. If they're in the tree, we'll ask them to be quiet. But with that being said, that is pretty much it for Monstera Zoo today. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you guys appreciate this little bit of a series. And you know what? We'll end on our sleepy little koala right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye now.